Welcome to this beautiful day on a beautiful big wild water and today I shall be testing the Daiwa casters and rods. Now the casters and range is a four strong range of rods. We've got 11 6, 12 foot 6, 13 foot 6 and 14 foot 2. Big big rods, chunky rods, big eyes on them, big tips on them, meant for heavy duty fishing on big natural venues like this, rivers, stuff like that. I think what we should do Hop on the box, I've got them all set up, ready to go. It's only half seven in the morning, I'm here nice and early. I'll give them a good test out today. I've got them set up at 36 metres and 75 metres. Nice distances that should put the rod through the paces. Should catch some bream, maybe some hybrids, maybe a few roach. Should we get on the box and have a go? Right, so we're here fishing away, and I'm just using the 11 foot 6 casters to start with. Um, just fishing at 36 metres and a nice gravel patch. And uh, I've not been fishing long, probably 10 minutes. So we'll see if we can start catching some fish. But I must say, this 11 foot 6 is a beautiful little rod, it's um, three piece, three piece rod, so all you European guys will love it because I know you like a three piece rod, I like a three piece rod, I just prefer how they pack away, shorter and everything. Um, but what is this rod for? Well it's got a 60 gram casting rating, um, it comes with three tips, padded case for you to store it in, like all the rods do. Um, but for me this rod... It's got quite a soft action, plenty of power to, you know, chuck a decent size fit. Ooh. Yeah, quite a decent bit of power to chuck a decent, you know, a decent feeder, 40, 50 gram, no problem at all. Um, it's probably a 50 metre rod, a bit weedy out there. It's like 36 metres is so comfortable with this rod, not, not, even, an, you know, not even an issue. Um, I think you could fish 50 metres with this one, no problem at all with a cage feeder. What would I use this rod for personally? If I was going to Ireland a lot, you know, I think this would be a great rod for big hook fishing, for small fish where you, you know, you've got to be busy in and out. I think this would be a great rod, heavy duty rod. As you see, it's just effortless chuck into that sort of range, 36 meters. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd use it for. And I think, well, I know, because I've seen Steve Ringer using these rods, that it'd be a fantastic sort of summer Bast and Boddington type rod, maybe bomb and pellet, method feeder, hybrid feeder, that kind of thing. I think it'd be fantastic for that because it's got a lovely through action, so you know it'd be perfect for carp. So I've tried, I've set all four rods up today, but what I've done, I've gone to I've fished the eleven foot six and then used a twelve foot six for feeding. And then I've set up the thirteen foot six at seventy five meters and then used the fourteen two for feeding that. It's worked out quite nicely. The 12 foot 6 has got you know plenty of power. You can chuck out like a decent sized cage, like a, a, a guru baiting up cage that I like to use, one of them. No problem whatsoever. Um, and again, the 14 2 was chucking that 75 meters as well, so no, no problem with feeding whatsoever. One of the main questions I get asked all the time is about rods. Just unbelievable. I get Facebook messages, emails, texts, what rod should I use, what rod should I use? And uh, and one of the really key questions that I've had is, should I buy a Castism? Should I buy an SLR? Well, I think it's fair to say that the SLRs are the very pinnacle of, of rod design. You know, I've put a video on the other week 
and I, I've not had a rod cast like that. Just incredible. Recovery, the technology in it, fantastic. But of course, 400 plus pound is a hell of a lot of money for a fishing rod. And uh, I fully appreciate that. And that is where these castisms come in. Uh, between 190 and sort of 220 quid, these offer a hell of a lot of rod for you know a good price. You know, at the end of the day, you can get two of these for the price of an SLR. So they're well worth considering. You've got key features, V joint to eliminate flat spots. You've got your tournament distance quivers, um, HVF Nano plus carbon. So really, really good technology gone into these rods. And for the money, and for what you know, the package, the time that they've spent getting these rods right, they really are good. To answer that question, I think obviously budget, what your budget is will depend on what you end up buying. But if you know, oh, there we go, we've got one. Bream, feels like a bream on the 11.6. You see, lovely playing action. Using braid today, so you want a nice softish rod. But yeah, I, I think obviously budget, it will depend on what, which one you go for. But believe me, that these castisms do a great, great job. I think we'll, catch, we'll have this one and then we'll pick the 13 six up, show you that 75 meter chuck and see if we can't catch a fish on that as well. Just got it matched up with a 4,000 TDR, which is a nice combination. Got the bigger rod set up with casters and reels. What oh, a nice fish in this clear water. Look at that. Just pan him. Look at that on the top. Come on. That was a, took about 40 seconds for that bite, which is common here. Oh, that's a nice fish. I think they follow the feeder down and look at that. Beauty. Just slip the hook out. Just hold him up for you, just show you. Look at that. Six pound plus bream. Taking on the 11.6 casters on. Let's get him back and pick up the 13.6. Right, so we've seen what the 11.6 is like. Lovely rod, really impressed with that, to be honest with you. Now it's time for the Bertha. We've got the 13.6 set up. Here she is. 13.6, let's just wet that braid. Very important. Catism reel. 13.6 catism rod. Got a 60 gram cage on there. Size 12 hook. Baiting up with four maggots. Don't want to be messing about today fishing for good sized fish, putting a lot of bait in, being aggressive and hopefully we'll get the rewards. But I'm really impressed with what these rods have got to offer. I mean, let's have a look at this. Just ping it out there. So 75 meters, look at that, on the clip, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, there we go. We've got one on the 13.6. I don't think it's a big fish, but it's a fish nevertheless. See, most of the action is in the top section. And then all the beef kicks in further down the rod. As you'd expect from, you know, a heavy duty feeder rod. That's the three ounce tip in there I've put in. Which is the yellow one. And I think that's one thing I have learned recently in feeder fishing is you know, if you want to chuck a long way or do it comfortably, you've got to use the appropriate tip. There's no point using an ounce tip and trying to chuck 75 metres. Not going to help anybody. Right, what we got? Skimmer. Oh yeah, nice skimmer. Lovely fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish that is. 
taken on 13 6 at 75 metres. So there you have it. The Casterson range. We're covering multiple distances with multiple rods. They're doing the job absolutely brilliantly. Get a massive thumbs up from me.